further signs of a thaw in the years of bitter rivalry between Iran and Saudi Arabia that destabilised the Middle East. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman met Iranian Foreign Minister Hussein Amr Abdullahian in Jeddah on Friday, in the highest level talk since the countries reconciled. Mohammed bin Salman, widely known as MBS, is the kingdom's de facto ruler. He has pushed to reorient Saudi foreign policy in recent years, amid questions over its historically close relationship with the United States. Amr Abdullahian said in a social media post after meeting the Crown Prince that discussions were frank, beneficial and productive. The unscheduled meeting came a day after Amr Abdullahian arrived in the kingdom and held talks with his Saudi counterpart, Prince Faisal bin Farhan. Rivalry between Iran's revolutionary Shiite Muslim leaders and Saudi Arabia's Sunni ruling family dominated Middle Eastern affairs for years. They competed for influence in wars and political struggles in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen and Bahrain. Saudi Arabia cut ties with Iran in 2016 after protesters attacked its embassy in Tehran over Riyadh's execution of a prominent Shiite cleric. But China brokered a rapprochement in March and full diplomatic relations were resumed. I think we can all agree that freedom of expression is not limitless. Your words have consequences, your actions have fallouts. So the line must be drawn somewhere. The only question is where. So there are upgrades across the board. All three defense services are getting bigger and more lethal weapons. And this is the need of the hour. China's buildup on the border remains a concern, 38 months and counting. India needs better weapons to secure its front lines. So arms trade is just another source of income for them. And this is a serious setback in the fight against terrorism. All because of American callousness. So the stock rally is like a vote of confidence from investors. They are betting on India. They're positive about the India story. It's the government's job now to repay that faith. This incident once again highlights the role of social media and the internet. It's a double-edged sword, really. So tough times for the world. There is inflation, layoffs and pay cuts. But not for King Charles of Britain. Forget pay cuts. He's all set to receive a massive pay hike. What is offensive to one religion could be sacred to another. Europe must realise this. They keep lecturing the world about minorities how they should be protected, how their rights and culture must be promoted. But at home, it's the exact opposite. People are burning the holy book of your minority group. And what is your response? You say it's freedom of expression. 